Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have a set L, which is a subset of complex numbers and we have to represent it in a complex plane. So basically, L is a set of complex numbers which satisfy that condition. So we will start to discuss that condition first. So let me write, we have imaginary part, imaginary, it should be I am imaginary part of Z minus 2i is strictly greater than 6. So what we do in this case, we replace Z by its Cartesian form, which is X plus I Y. So therefore, imaginary part of X plus I Y minus 2i greater than 6. What will I do? I will collect imaginary part. That means I will take I common imaginary part of X plus I y minus 2 greater than 6. So it's imaginary part we want, which is obviously y minus 2. So we get it is greater than 6. Let us shift 2 on that side. So there will be addition 6 plus 2. Therefore, y is equal to, sorry, y is strictly greater than 8. So y is greater than 8. Basically, y is equal to 8. This is equation of line, which parallel to x-axis, or you can say it parallel to real axis and passes through 0 comma 8. So let me mention here, let me mention here, therefore, the set L is a set of all complex numbers, complex numbers, which lie above the line above the line y is equal to 8. Okay, so let me draw that line. So 5, 6, 7, 8. So 0, 8 point is here. So we have a line here getting which is passing through 0, 8 and which is parallel to real axis. So this line is y is equal to 8. So here uh, y is strictly greater than 8. That means the region above this line. Okay, so uh, let me show that region like this. Okay, so that means given set L is a set of all complex number which lie above this line. So here they have mentioned strictly greater than y is equal to it. That means we cannot consider points which lie on that axis or lie on that line. We have to consider only those points which lie above the line. Okay, so make a screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. See you.